Easy peeps and welcome back to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. So we've been trying a few keepers out here and there and yesterday we unlocked the Fabregas. So we're going to try and play with the Fabregas. But at the request of Azar Amia, we're actually going to try out the 89 Rui Patricio. But let's have a look at Cesc Fabregas first. Looks pretty decent. He's going to be... I don't know, he's kind of stuck in the middle between being a good box-to-box -box and being good defensively, so I'm not too sure whether the stamina is going to hold up, but I think if we slow it down, we'll be okay. And for goalkeeper, we're going to try Rui Patricio. Only costs 27,000 coins, and I think you can get it even cheaper than that now, but at the time of recording, this was an absolute steal. Um, we won't be keeping him, because I want somebody that's going to add a bit more fear, a bit more... Just je ne sais quoi into the equation. But we're going to try those two players out anyway with the team that I just showed you. And we're going to have a nice little bit of a division run. But our main objective with Rui Patricio is to try and not concede so many goals. So hopefully, hopefully we can do that. Anyway, we're in the first game and we're trying to get crosses as well. Uh, the headers for the crosses. But for some reason, I seem to have forgotten how to cross and how to head a ball as well. We do go 1-0 up, but then unfortunately it goes 1-1 after a banger of a finish from his Henri. Nothing the goalkeeper could do about that. We then go 2-1 up on the 25th minute. Again, nothing the keeper could do about that. Nothing the keeper could do about that as we go 2-2. So unfortunately, we're not getting that super-duper, super-human, Superman-esque feel with Rui Patricio in the first game. But... When you're, you know, when you're taking on shots from 93 rated icons, if you had that 93 rated icon, you would expect the ball to go in the net nearly every time you shot. So I don't necessarily mind conceding as long as they're goals, which the goalkeeper really can't do anything about. But the things that were happening with Testagen and the other keepers is the ball was actually like slipping through the fingers and just generally letting us down. I, that really hasn't happened with Rui Patricio. We go 5-4 up on the 76 minute thanks to a bang up from Son. But we are thinking of selling Son. So this might be his farewell shout. 88 minutes now before the end of the game. And unfortunately the through ball of dreams and a banger of dreams from Suarez makes it 5-5. And we just can't hold on to it. But we don't stop there, people, as we have got a few more minutes left of the game and we bang it with Umbop in virtually the last kick of the game, 93rd minute to win the game 6-5. So we've we've got an 11-goal game again. We've still conceded five. I, I don't necessarily think any of that was Rui Patricio's fault. Perhaps it's my defending. Perhaps it's just been a bit you know one of those bad woeful weeks on FIFA where you just can't defend anything and every bounce seems to go against you I'm not too sure but honestly we need to figure it out because we can't keep conceding this many this many goals in either all the games otherwise we literally have to score 400 Rui Patricio there with a save yeah that's a bit dodge is that a FIFA thing is that a Rui Patricio thing I, I don't know but again that's the kind of stuff that makes me just feel a bit, uh, you know? Anyway, 1-0 down, 15 minutes gone. Fabregas bangs it from inside of the box. Not bad. So we've spoke a little bit about Rui Patricio. Fabregas, on the other hand, is pretty decent. If you play a bit more of a slow tempo, because you know that he hasn't got great stamina and he hasn't got the great pace, obviously it depends what kind of chemistry style you put on him. You can see he blocked the ball there and it led to a goal. He always just seems to be in the right position. He's, he seems very, very dependable. So if you're the kind of player or you've got the kind of team where you haven't got a lot of high-rated players, let me tell you, this is very worth... It's worth giving him a shot, man. Whether he's ready for a full like beast mode on foot champions, I'm not too sure. But if you're somebody that isn't rocking X amount of icons in your team, then trust me, Fabregas will actually do a job for you. He's actually pretty decent. You don't really notice the pace as long as you play a slower tempo. You don't really notice the stamina as long as you play a slower tempo. When I did have a few games where he was playing a bit more of the upbeat tempo, then he probably lasted to about 65, 70 minutes before he did have to be subbed on, uh, subbed off. Sorry. So you just have to keep that in mind. Be be woeful of that. Don't run him too much. Just conserve his energy a little. 
because of his stamina. But that was a superb save from Rui Patricio there. So he, he's doing all right, but he can't stop the corner, unfortunately. I don't think any keeper would have been able to have stopped that. So in this game, we are 4-2 up. So again, another, another game with like six goals in. We've conceded two, which is a little better. Son to finish it off and score another stunning goal in this game. 5-2 on the 88th minute. And Son was on fire in this, this like little batch of games. But like I said, we're probably going to sell him because we need to move on and try and upgrade a few areas here and there. Next up, he does have team of the season Lukaku. He does have Shira. He does have team of the season Sterling, Sane, De Bruyne. Nice little team. Don't let them golds put you off. Ronaldo, just before seven minutes, we go for a cross. Now that's the high. Look how shocking that goalkeeping is. That shouldn't be coming to us. So, I don't know, man. Is it something up with my experience of goalkeepers? Am I just having a bad time with every goalkeeper in the world? Rui Patricio didn't save that, but luckily it was offside. So, it's still 1-0 to us. He does a good save from the cross in there. So, that's not bad. And decent distribution. So, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, next up. We can see that we're trying to move the ball, but we get caught in possession. And then his Lukaku bangs it from outside of the box to make it 1-1. Again, I don't think any keeper could have really have stopped that. So I don't think that's necessarily Rui Patricio's fault. But we're on the attack in the 62nd minute. Hull it to Rashford. Hull it on the attack back to Rashford. 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 Rashford! 2-1. 63 minutes gone. And I'm loving this Rashford card at the moment. Nice little setup play from Cesc, who started the move originally. And a nice save there from Rui Patricio. So, honestly, if you're looking for a cheapish, decent keeper, I know he's just let one in there. But, again, you can't stop a banger from De Bruyne out on the outside of the box. Um, if you're looking for a, a good, decent, cheapish keeper, then I think he's going for, a, what, mid-20s now? That's not too bad. We do get a draw in that game, and that does mean that we do end up winning the Division 1 again. So that's another 15,000 coins to the kitty. So it all adds up. But we do have plans for this team. So Rui Patricio, we did end up playing seven games with him. Honestly, not too bad. We're going to check how much he's going for at the moment. Remember, we paid 27,000 coins. Oh, so he's gone up a little bit. So if we can try and hopefully cash him really quickly, we'll put him on for 41 odds. If he sells, that's good. But if he doesn't sell within the first hour, we'll put him on for 40. No, 41. If he doesn't sell in the first hour, then obviously we're going to have to reduce the price. But luckily, we don't get any competition. So we are looking for still a brand new goalkeeper. But the Cesc Fabregas isn't too bad at all. Don't be put off by the pace. If you put a, you know, a, a nice chemistry style on him, you can up that. The only thing that you need to be mindful of is the stamina. So just be wary of that. Don't go too far in. So we are going to sell Son. We paid 661,000 coins for Son. His now price range has gone down loads. His max price range is 440, but he's currently going for about 260. So we will lose around about 400,000 coins on some, but we do need some coins in because we need to get a new centre mid and we do need to get ourselves a new goalkeeper. But that is it for today. So Rui Patricio, not bad, pretty decent. I just don't think he offers that scare tactic of when the team's loading up at the beginning. So we will be looking for a more scarier goalkeeper. Cesc Fabregas, not bad at all, superb, but I'd rather use him as, I think, SBC 90 rated fodder because I can't see him competing with the kind of teams that we end up facing in the weekend league. So we're looking for a new centre mid as well. So next episode, we will have a new centre mid on board and we will have a new goalkeeper and hopefully that will solve the problems. But for now... We are out of here. If you have stumbled across the channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Of course, if you are already subscribed, turn your notifications on so that you know when a new video goes live. Of course, if you could follow my Twitch as well, that would be greatly appreciated so we can get some streams kicking off. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in a bit.